what am I looking for when I come into a house? I kind of look at things two ways. You know, I want to document things, but I also want to create photographs that are really nice artistically. My name is Watson Brown. My home is Tarboro, North Carolina. My passion is actually my house here that I've retired to, uh, which is an old 1850s house that I've restored. Come on, come on, come walk with me. I guess my relaxation passion is my photography. Never had a class in photography, but I learned how to do some finer editing and adding certain textures or overlays that make them look very different. I could give them different moods, gothic, make them look like a, an old English oil painting. I was kind of an unusual kid. When I would go on trips with my parents or friends and they were talking and thinking about other things, I was looking at buildings and houses. All of a sudden, I just get the urge to get out. I've got a book of North Carolina county maps that I use. I'd rather just take this book of county maps, go to a county, and just start driving. I get lost all the time, but I don't worry about it. We're gonna go up into the northern part of the county, which still has quite a few abandoned buildings. I travel all over east of North Carolina. Most every road I can find, trying to find treasures, ways of life, sometimes people. And the owners have said we could go up and kind of explore around them, so that's what we'll do. Seems like it has a bit of mystery right now, hiding behind vines. Yeah, and I just see quite a few houses that are really wonderful pieces of architecture like this, and they're overgrown. It's almost symbolic of what's happened in the state, in the country. You know, with rural areas, they've just declined. Every time I come here, the lighting's always a little different, different season. I take tons of photos. And now, when I take basic photos, I'm much more conscientious about how I see it, how I angle it, what I know will be a better composition. Over the years, my eye can just zoom in on it. In this case, you, you see the federal wainscoting with the reeded blocks. The light might be coming through the windows. Look at the scorch marks. It's amazing, this place. My understanding is that there was a tenant here that uh, set the house on fire. You hear all kinds of stories when I talk to people. And you know, Southerners love to tell good stories. <laughs> Indeed. I started showcasing my art. What intrigued me the most is, is that these people really loved what I was doing. People have said that my photography is so good for awakening memories in people. I think what has evolved in me is the joy of transferring to other people to just learn how to look and appreciate what we've got because if you're not careful it won't be here that looks pretty good <laughs>